To begin setting up your EZ72B, go to cloud4uis.com. If you already have an account, log in here, otherwise click on sign up to proceed. Once you are logged in, go to the top right and click on the button here with three dots. Select the outlet with the plus sign in front of it. The add device window will appear. We'll select the EZ72B. The next screen will alert users that adding the device wirelessly requires the use of the Easy device mobile application. We're going to proceed using Ethernet, so we'll click Next at the bottom. At this point, we will need to enter the serial number of the device which is found on the bottom label. Click Next when done. If this ad process is successful, you should see the following note that your device has been added to the account. We can either add another device or hit Cancel to begin our device configuration. Now that our device has been added, we see it shows up at the bottom of our device list. Clicking on it will display the device menu. This is where configuration settings are completed. Let's start with the network page. This is where we can change the display name of our device as well as see its IP address information. Click Save at the top right if you've made any changes here. The settings page is next. This is where we can change the outlet mode from manual to auto reset. Manual control requires the user to manually power reset the outlet. Auto reset tells the device to monitor the internet connection and automatically reboot power to the outlet when the connection is lost. This is the setting we want for our router. When selecting auto reset, you will have the option to include the Wi-Fi signal strength if connected. If the signal drops below a certain threshold, the outlet will reset automatically. Ping delay is how long the device will wait after a reset before it starts monitoring the connection again. Default is one minute. Power run delay is how long the outlet will be powered off for before it turns back on. Our router does best when powered off for at least 15 seconds. Adjust yours accordingly. Number of resets will default to three times. This is generally best for most applications. If the first or second auto reset does not restore connectivity, a third will take place. If that third reset still fails, the connection outage is likely due to another cause. The reset only option is for those with a modem or router plugged into the outlet. This removes the power off option so that users do not accidentally disconnect their internet connection to the device. We are going to turn this on. Last on this page is the ping interval. This is how frequently connection checks are done at the website addresses which are monitored. Default is 15 seconds. We're going to leave this as is. Click save at the top right when done. Back at the main menu, we'll select Schedule. This is where we can set the outlet to turn on, off, or reset at a specific day and time. Start by switching the first schedule to on. Click on the time to set the action, either off, which is a gray outlet, R for reset, or on, which is a green outlet. We'll set ours to reset. Select the date or day next, along with the time, which is shown in 24-hour format. Click Confirm when done, then save at the top right. We'll go back again to the main menu and select Ping Address. By default, there are 10 different website addresses that the device pings to check for connectivity. If you instead want to check only one address, perhaps an address of a local network device like a camera or access point, enter that here. You may also change the mode from Ping to HTTP if desired. We're going to leave ours at Ping. Again, click Save if you've made any changes here. Next up is the Time page. This is where we set the time zone, how frequently time is checked, as well as daylight saving time settings. Click save when done making changes. Last on the menu is the information page. This tells us the serial number of the device, the model, and its firmware version. That sums up our first time configuration of the EZ72B. We hope you enjoyed this video and invite you to subscribe for more like it. Thank you.